biotechnology. One of the new and revolutionary areas of biological research is the field of biotechnology. Biotechnology is applied biological science, such as the use of genetic material in living organisms to help make useful products or to solve medical problems. The use of biotechnology has affected many practices in agriculture, criminal investigations, and the ways we diagnose and prevent human diseases. And do you know that bread, cheese, yogurt, wine, beer, and vaccines are products of biotechnology? In the pandemic season, it is time to talk about biotechnology, like vaccines. How are vaccines made? How are new vaccines developed? New vaccines are usually developed over the course of 10 years in several different stages. Step 1. Determining which diseases will be targeted with a vaccine. Some diseases such as HIV are not easy to target with a vaccine because of how the pathogen interacts with our immune system. Other diseases that are extremely rare or rarely cause serious illness are not likely to be targeted for vaccine development due to the time and cost required. When a disease has been identified, Next comes the exploratory phase, which can last several years. During the exploratory phase, researchers in the lab examine the bacteria or virus genetic structure to understand how the pathogen attacks our cells and makes us sick, and figure out which part of it are the best candidates to target for a vaccine to produce the strongest immune response called antigens. They use this information to create an imitation infection that teaches their immune system to fight the pathogen without causing illness. Once a potential vaccine has been developed, it is tested in the preclinical stage. Scientists test the vaccine on cells in a dish, using mathematical models and an animal model to see whether it activates the immune system in the way it is intended. Often vaccines don't make it past this stage because they don't produce the desired immune response. Vaccines are seen promising and get approved for clinical testing by the FDA, which happens in three phases over the course of several years. These tests are focused on ensuring that the vaccine is safe and that it produces an effective immune response in human patients that persists over time. It is important that vaccines are tested in a large and diverse group of people to find out if there are any unusual or rare side effects, and to make sure that the vaccine is equally effective for all participants. A vaccine that passes all of the stages may be approved by the FDA, which continues to monitor the production of the vaccine to ensure it is safe and effective. Many people are concerned that certain applications of biotechnology will lead to possible abuses of individual rights. Will we debate the uses and consequences of biotechnology? Many benefits to society have already been achieved using the techniques, and new discoveries are being made daily.